can hide here. Uh, well, the, the town is kind of in the middle of, of the Ukrainian and the, the Russian positions. So uh, what, uh, uh, what happens is they're kind of, they're trying to fire at each other from both sides. Да мы просто переждать обстрел, да конечно. Можно посмотреть. Кому это? Ну, он мы с детьми вот сегодня ночью. Дети здесь, а так мы бегаем туда-сюда. Подвал, подвал. Те уже сегодня уже решили же вообще сюда пойти. Уже невозможно, невозможно уже. Никак не ходить. Да, да, да. 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 Да, of me, likewise Russia, uh, because I was born in Ukraine. My family belongs to both Russia and Ukraine, so how do you expect me to uh, separate myself? In how many parts should I cut myself? When I hear that people call me a dissident, uh, actually I, 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 I feel uneasy because um, this is proper journalism, just to, to put questions. So, if it implies to be a dissident, I am a dissident. Я когда переходил границу, там было, ну, сколько, может, трехметровый, может, двух с половиной, двух с половиной метровый забор этот с колючей проволоки, получается, три. Кулькуно пера траверсаре, а траверса соло иль кампо, опуре по троваре или у на полу полуде oppure trovare il fiume nello stesso posto attraverso da 3-4 persone però la quinta persona viene arrestata dal, dal forestale bielorussi mi ha arrestato per il fatto che io sono contro la guerra in Ucraina e io ho partecipato in un meeting non sanzionato abbiamo capito come è tutto ma per il momento ci hanno fermato e ci hanno fermato e ci hanno fermato власти белорусской. Несмотря на то, что ну, мой отец, к примеру, был военным, э, ну, раньше давно был офицером, но несмотря на это, раньше люди другие были, и идеи были другие, а сейчас идея у, у них одна. И я считаю, что система нормального человека держать там не может. circle defense 
So we are prepared to, to work for each side. There are roads that they can use, there are woods and so on. So we cannot say that they will come only from this direction. Maybe from that direction, maybe from that, or maybe they go somehow behind us and we should be prepared from that side. You know, it's war and it's changing very fastly and all the time. The anti-war sentiments in Russia have always been quite strong. People like me, like my friends, we, and we, we helped to collect uh, more than one million signatures uh, criticizing our government to stop, demanding to stop the war. These people are being targeted, these people are being threatened, these people are being labeled as the fifth column or the traitors of Russian interests or appeasers of the neo-Nazi or whatnot. Fortunately, fortunately in Ukraine there have been voices uh, also in the previous eight, eight years who were trying to call uh, on, on stopping the conflict, on, on, on searching for political solution, on doing something to bring people together. And uh, uh, right now these people are also targeted. L'ordine del Cremlino è stato tassativo, prendere Luhansk e poi l'intero Donbass. Hanno iniziato a bombardare alla mattina presto e non hanno mai smesso. Kharkiv, questa è la nuova normalità. Nonostante il ritiro delle truppe di Mosca, la seconda città del paese è costantemente bombardata, soprattutto prima e dopo l'arrivo di Volodymyr Zelensky. 